hello students welcome to sarasa classes this is dr sarkar over here and uh, we were discussing retrosynthetic approach or disconnection approach in which i would like to stress on the topic of protecting groups today now what are the qualities needed in a protecting group so for that i would like to say quality number 1 will be it must be easy to put in okay b is it must be resistant to reagents that would attack the unprotected functional group and in c if it is easily put it should be easily removed so we will say it must be easily removed so taking the lecture forward we would like to discuss protection of ketones and aldehydes so how can we protect them it is by the formation of acetals or ketones so if we have a ketone suppose like this then we can use ethane 1 to diol plus a acid which will be mostly toxic acid and then that would lead to the formation of 1 comma 3 dioxalone okay and how to remove the protecting group so in the reverse pathway we will say addition of acidulated water will remove the acetal or ketal protecting groups via acid hydrolysis so let us take an example in which we are using this strategy of protecting one group and then performing the reaction in the other group so let us take an example of this compound where we have a keto group and also a ester group and suppose we reduce the compound with nabh4 in presence of ethanol and we know that nabh4 can only selectively reduce the keto groups or aldehyde groups but not the ester so out here our product will be this corresponding alcohol however if we aim for reducing only the ester group and not the keto group then what kind of pathway should we use suppose this is the desired target molecule that we want to synthesize now for that suppose this is we are calling as one so one when it is reacted 
with ethane one two diol in presence of toxic acid will lead to the production uh, protection of the keto functionality and the ester group remains unaffected acetals or ketals are stable towards nucleophilic reagents in this case the nucleophile being h minus from the lithium aluminum hydride so the 1,3 dioxalone will remain untouched that is no reaction will take place on the 1,3 dioxalone however reduction will take place on the ester molecule and we will get this molecule out here which when treated with acidulated water will open up the 1,3 dioxalone and deprotection will take place giving us the desired target molecule which is this one okay now in this we will be 